Now, the, the pericardium is a sac around the heart, and they energetically, it protects the heart. It's like a, a protective layer. And they talk about the fire elements and the triple warmer. The triple warmer is actually the element that helps connect the heart to the other tissues. And they call it the triple warmer because there's three areas, so it's triple. And some of the energy comes up from the solar plexus. The solar means the sun and the yellow color of that, that chakra. And that feeds the heart. And then the throat chakra feeds the heart through the lungs, through the air, through the oxygen. So they're connected through that triple warmer. And the triple warmer is considered the pericardium and feeds the heart energy. Kind of an interesting thing that the Chinese taught, even the ancient Greeks felt that, like there was a connection between these chakras. And so... Did you say that the throat also feeds the heart? The, the throat chakra also feeds the heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the back of the throat chakra is the seventh cervical vertebrae, mm -hmm. and that connects all of the upper chakras through the throat chakra. So if you have a problem with your seventh cervical vertebrae, you're having problems with all your chakras. So when you're breathing, you're actually using this chakra, this chakra, and this chakra. And you're energizing them. These are very powerful. And the ancient Greeks used to put all this in the fire chakra, the, the fire element of the earth. The Chinese mainly put the heart here and then the intestines, the, the large intestine and the lungs are in the metal element. And the water element is the kidneys and bladder and the adrenals. The wood element is your blood and your, your liver. And that basically covers all the elements. The earth element is your, your, uh, your kidneys and your adrenals. So there's kind of a, a connection between the water and the earth element, too. What about so the metal and the intestines? How does that fit together? Well, they're both excretory elements, mm -hmm. and metal is considered a, an excretory type thing. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are not ventilating well, you're not getting rid of the carbon dioxide, It carbon dioxide is a poison. It's something we excrete from our body and we get rid of it because if we didn't, we'd become acidotic and what happens when we get acidosis? We die. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> all of the different things that cause us not to get the oxygenation. Now the, the intestines, when they're not moving, what happens? We you can die really from that also because yeah. we're not getting rid of those pollutants. Well, also, I mean, the, the, the upper intestines is also part of that? Uh, usually the small intestines are more a part of the, uh, the believe it or not, the earth element hmm. and sometimes into the wood because of the association. And the wood is what? Liver and blood hmm. and bone marrow, the production hmm. of blood. So, you know, the elements are very interesting and they are associated with all the chakras. Now, the triple warmer comes with the fire element. So it's very interesting how these layers around all our organ systems protect those systems. The pericardium, the, the pleura of the, the sac of the lungs, the uh, peritoneum, even the, the sexual organs have a membrane that surrounds them and protects them. Uh, very interesting as we, uh, like the uh, uterus, you have the endometrium, the myometrium, the endometrium is the inside that bleeds and sloughs off every month, the myometrium, which is the muscle of the uterus, and then you had the outer shell of the uterus that protects the uterus. Very interesting, all our organs have that membrane that kind of protects them. And when we don't oxygenate well, we don't get the energy in there, they start having disease and problems in those organs. Mm -hmm. So when we describe the, the
coverings, the protections, when we don't oxygenate them well, disease is everywhere. Which is fascinating to me, especially as a medical doctor, because when you know we study these organs, if when they start having disease and problems, if you could remove them, you just remove them to remove the disease. But they're all so interconnected by removing one organ, another has to take over for it. Like if you remove a kidney, the other kidney has to take over for it. And if it isn't able to, you, your liver and your spleen start having to work harder. Mm -hmm. And if the spleen is removed, your kidneys and your liver have to work harder. So there's a lot of things that go on within the body energetically that cause problems on the other organ systems. And what I found with using herbs and cleanses and these things, anytime you help an organ function better, it helps all the organs because it's taking some of the load off of them. So it's a very important thing to be able to uh, help the body. And since we're talking about breathing, breathing is what brings in the life, brings in the prana, brings in the oxygen. So a very vital part of, of our health.